Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another makeup tutorial feature in this look that I have on now. And it's just a fall look that I decided to do. And on my eyes, I have Max Cranberry Eyeshadow. And it's just a really, really pretty deep plum color. And it's shimmer and it has just a little bit of gold hints to it. For my lips, I use the ColourPop LAX Ultra Matte Lip. So if you guys are interested in this makeup look, please continue watching. Okay, to start, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyelids. And here I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime and Peach Luster to color correct my eyelids. Now I just like to use a beauty blender to blend it out inside of my finger. And here I am taking Makeup Geeks Frappe as a transitional eyeshadow shade. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions to apply the eyeshadow. And here this is Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear. And I like to use this eyeshadow as a um, transitional, not a transitional, but just a shade just to add warmth to my eye. And here, this is another Makeup Geeks eyeshadow, and this color is called Bitten. blend out any harsh lines I'm going back in with the cocoa bear and for a slight brow highlight I'm using makeup geeks cream brulee and this is max texture I'm using that just to make sure that the eyeshadow that I applied on my eyebrow is not too bright. And here I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean to use as a base for my eyeshadow that I will be using. And I'm just using a flat synthetic brush to blend that out. And here this is Max Cranberry Eyeshadow and I'm using a flat synthetic brush and I am using small precise Pattern motions to apply it. I'm just going to do the same exact thing to the other eye. And the key to makeup is really just going back and forth and make sure that whenever you apply eyeshadow, to go back over it, whatever color you used beforehand, to make sure no harsh lines are noticeable and if they are you just go back in with the color you used previously and blend it out and this here is the sample size of the Lori Giller makeup primers and it, I believe it's called a spackle and I really really love it I like to take just a little bit of the Smashback, Smashbox um, Coreless primer for this area of my cheeks because I always have big pores there. And to do additional color correcting, I'm using the um, Prepper Pine pen again underneath my eye. And for foundation, I have been loving the Ultra HD Foundation by Makeup Forever. I'm just using a real technique um, buffy brush to apply this to my face. And after I finish using the brush, I always like to go back over it with a beauty blender just to ensure that the foundation is patted onto the skin so that I have a more flawless finish. And for highlight, I am using the LA Girl Concealer in Fun. 
I'm just applying this to all the areas that I want to brighten. And to blend this out, I love using the Beauty Blender. And the best thing about the Beauty Blender, you don't really have to work too hard to blend it. All I'm doing is literally just patting my face with the Beauty Blender and the Beauty Blender does all the work. Okay, now to set my concealer, I am using a dry beauty blender, and this powder here is the um, Buttercup Sasha Setting Powder, and I'm just lightly pressing that into my skin. And I like to quote unquote bake my setting powder. As soon as I apply it, I like to sweep away all the excess so it doesn't look too cakey. Here I'm using the Fashion Fair Foundation Stick and Teak to contour my face and now I'm using a pointed um, buffy blush by Real Techniques. I, I'm not sure if that's a real name of this brush but this is that's the brush that I'm using and I am just blending out that teak with this brush. And usually after I do this step I like to set my um, contour with some sort of powder but I forgot that step so just ignore that. Okay here I am using the MAC Eye Pencil and Smolder and then I'm going to blend out that so it doesn't look so harsh and I'm using a pencil brush with a little bit of bitten on it to make a big eyeshadow. To blend out that bitten, I'm going back in with Baker Pete's Cocoa Bear. Now that my eyes are done, I usually always apply my eyeliner mascara off camera. I'm taking the e.l.f. blush palette in the dark palette and I'm using that color I just showed you guys as my blush. And for highlight, I'm using the Lorac Temporizer Fake Cleanser. This here is my favorite highlight. I know there are so many different highlights, highlighters on the market, but I tend to stick to whatever works best for me. And to set my entire face, I'm using the uh, Max minimize skin finish in deep dark and my last step I like to do I like to use the elf makeup setting spray and I just spray this all over my face just to set my makeup and this also helps blend out my makeup and for lips here I'm using the ColourPop's LAX ultra matte lip and you just really have to take your time in applying any liquid lipstick that's matte because once it's on there, it stays. So just make sure you take your time. Completes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And make sure you guys subscribe for more videos and comment below whether or not if you guys like this makeup look.